when to file ISF for paper production machinery. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will be discussing an important topic related to customs brokerage and the importer security filing ISF, process. Specifically, we will explore when to file ISF for paper production machinery. So, if you are involved in the paper production industry or are simply interested in learning more about customs procedures for importing machinery, you've come to the right place. Let's dive in. Paper production machinery plays a crucial role in the manufacturing of paper products. Whether you are importing paper machines, printers, or other equipment, understanding the ISF requirements is essential to ensure a smooth and compliant customs clearance process. The Importer Security Filing, commonly known as ISF or 10 plus 2, is a mandatory filing requirement for goods entering the United States by ocean vessel. It must be filed by the importer or their authorized agent, such as a licensed customs broker, at least 24 hours before the cargo is loaded onto the vessel at the foreign port of lading. Now, let's discuss when to file ISF specifically for paper production machinery. It is important to note that ISF must be filed even before the goods start their journey towards the United States. In this case, ISF should be filed as soon as the shipments are booked or at least 24 hours prior to the cargo's departure from the foreign port. Another vital aspect to consider when importing paper production machinery is the requirement for a customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that assures the U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, that all duties, taxes, and fees will be paid, and that the goods will comply with the laws and regulations of the United States. Hiring a trusted customs broker can greatly simplify the customs clearance process for importing paper production machinery. A licensed customs broker has the knowledge and experience to effectively navigate through the complexities of customs regulations, ensuring that all necessary documents are properly prepared and submitted. Additionally, it's important to consider the transit time from the foreign port to the U.S. port when planning the ISF filing. The ISF must be filed and accepted before the cargo arrives at the U.S. port of discharge. Therefore, timely and accurate communication between the importer, the customs broker, and the shipping line is crucial to meet the filing deadline. To summarize, when importing paper production machinery, the ISF should be filed as soon as the shipments are booked or at least 24 hours prior to the cargo's departure from the foreign port. It is also important to obtain a customs bond and work with a licensed customs broker to ensure a smooth customs clearance process. Timely communication with all parties involved is key to meeting the filing deadline. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this information useful. Be sure to watch our upcoming videos, where we will continue to explore various topics related to customs brokerage, customs bond, and international trade. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Until next time, check the disclaimer note posted below.